So we're checking everybody for um, their microchips. Every horse that comes has to have a microchip so we can identify them the day they arrive and um, each night before they go. And uh, when they first arrive to the park, we do a general health exam. We uh, basically do a, an overall physical on a horse, checking their heart for any arrhythmias, signs of murmurs, uh, checking their temperature for signs of infection, and then uh, a soundness check. Um, just to make sure the horse is fit to compete for the week. So a horse like this I have no concerns with. He's checking out with all of our parameters that we look for. And um, again, we'll be checking these horses uh, each night before they go just to make sure nothing's developed through the week as they, as they compete. Horses are allowed to compete up to three consecutive nights in a row, but then they're required to have two days of rest. Since we started doing the fitness compete program here at the Calgary Stampede, and this is our fourth year, we found that uh, the incidence or frequency of, of injuries as well as health other health related problems that arise in this population of horses has, has gone down considerably. And, and a lot of that effort goes to the drivers and the caretakers of these animals. When we were in the Calgary Stampede, we got so many different vets here that uh, you know, you just call somebody pretty soon if they need scope to see if they have a breathing problem, if they need an x-ray to see if they got, you know, a bone chip or, you know, something else going on, ultrasound to see, you know, tissue damage. They bring it down right away and, and they find out what's exactly going on with that horse. They, they pull blood all the time and check levels and stuff like that. And I think it's just, uh, well, it's very handy for one thing, but it also helps us become uh, better caretakers as well.